In this video, we will look at solving proportions, such as k plus 3 over 3 equals 8 over k minus 2. What's unique about this proportion is that the variables are diagonal from each other. We know with proportions, we need to use the cross product, multiplying that diagonal. As we do, we remember the binomials k plus 3 and k minus 2 are in parentheses, meaning we have to multiply k plus 3 times the k minus 2 on that first diagonal. The other diagonal is simply 8 times 3, or 24. We now have an equation we should be able to solve. However, with the case, with the factored form on the left, it's not really useful to us unless it equals 0. This one equals 24. Since it's not useful to us, it'll be more of an annoyance than a help, so let's multiply this out. k squared minus 2k plus 3k minus 6 equals 24. We can combine like terms in the center to get k squared. I, I said k, but I wrote x. That's interesting. There we go. k squared plus k minus 6 equals 24. We've solved problems with squared variables before. We use the zero product rule, saying that if we have two factors that equal zero, one of the factors must be zero. This requires a setup of two steps. First, the equation must equal zero, then it must be factored. Let's make the equation equal zero by subtracting 24 from both sides. This gives us k squared plus k minus 30 equals 0. Now we can factor this expression. Using the AC method, we're multiplying to negative 30 and adding to 1. This would be 5 and 6 if the 5 is negative. Because we have a 1 in front of the k squared, we can factor it to k minus 5 and k plus 6 equals 0. Now that it's factored and equal to 0, we can say one of the factors must be 0. k minus 5 equals 0, or k plus 6 equals 0. And we can solve quickly by adding 5 to get k equals 5, or subtracting 6 to get k equals negative 6. And we have our final solutions for k that make this proportion a true equation. Turns out, there are two possible solutions for k, 5 or negative 6. We found these solutions by using the cross product, multiplying the diagonals, remembering that the binomial numerator and denominator had to be in parentheses. This factored form is of no use to us if we equal anything besides 0. So we multiplied it out, made the equation equal 0, and then factored it again. Set each factor equal to zero, and we can find our solutions.